New this evening, attorneys for an Indiana doctor have sent a cease and desist letter to the attorney general after Todd Rokita wrongly accused her of failing to report a child's abortion. Dr. Caitlin Bernard is being investigated and was investigated after she performed an abortion on a 10-year-old girl back in June. Fox 59 obtained documents yesterday that prove the doctor properly reported that procedure. And as our Max Lewis tells us now, legal experts expect fights like this to become much more common. Max? Attorney General Todd Rokita has repeatedly denied our interview requests about his investigation into Dr. Caitlin Bernard. One of the things he was looking into was any violations of patient privacy laws. Today, IU Health said an internal investigation found Dr. Bernard broke no laws. Dr. Bernard has also been under investigation by Attorney General Rokita over accusations she failed to report the abortion on the 10-year-old rape victim to the state. Then we have this uh, abortion activist acting as a doctor with a history of failing to report. However, a terminated pregnancy report we obtained from the Indiana Department of Health shows the abortion was performed on June 30th and the report was filed on July 2nd. That falls within the three-day time frame that the state requires to report abortions on patients under 16. I believe that Attorney General Rokita was basically engaging in a political witch hunt. IU law professor Jody Madeira says based on what she's seen, Rokita spoke too soon. However, she said the legal fights over abortion are not going away. I think the Dobbs decision was just the very beginning of something that's going to resonate in our courts for a very long time. When the Indiana legislature meets for a special session in a little over a week, an abortion ban will be on the table. Madeira said it won't go unchallenged. All of these abortion reform measures that are now taking place across the country, including in Indiana, are going to be challenged. While Madeira doesn't expect a total ban, she said it's possible Rokita will be given power to intercede in local cases. She said that could create tricky legal ground. That would allow Attorney General Rokita to weigh in when local prosecutors do not exercise discretion and do not prosecute within certain cases. And one wonders whether the politicking will continue when he intervenes in those local situations. We did reach out to the governor's office, but he had no comment on this matter. The attorney for Dr. Bernard said they are considering legal action against Rokita for, quote, smearing her. And the attorney we spoke with said the doctor likely has a case. In Indianapolis, I'm Max Lewis, Fox 59 News. Max, thank you. And we do want to mention Bernard's attorneys are asking Rokita to cease and desist making any false or misleading statements about the doctor. We reached out to the Attorney General's office and we are waiting to hear back. Meanwhile, the Indiana Senate Minority Leader released a statement on the Attorney General. State Senator Greg Porter says he's received messages from Hoosiers who are, quote, disgusted at this story. He goes on to say he, quote, fervently wishes our AG would focus on actually doing his job instead of getting involved in health care. That statement uh, coming today from Senator Taylor there. Meantime, Indiana.